Hey guys, today we've got a Mitsubishi Trident here, MR. We're gonna do a replacement steering wheel. So here's how we're gonna do it, okay. Little instructional video for you guys. In here, got these three little tabs, which we'll uh, show off on the screen. Now we've taken photos of those little tabs. The bottom one is a bit tricky. Make sure you've got the keys in the ignition. And just turn the steering wheel around like that. And you'll see in here, a little tab. All right, once you've done that, the airbag will pop off. So once you've done that as well, just straighten the steering wheel, just so you, to make sure that when you do remove it, you're removing it centered. All right, next part is the horn pad. Just remove the airbag inflator like that. Okay. And then you've got the horn cable itself. All right. Just put that safely on the passenger seat there. Then grab a 17 mil socket. It's, it's very quick and easy to do something like this. Anybody can do it. Just need some tools. A bit of time. And you can replace the wheel. All right. So once you've done that, bolt out. Unplug the steering controls. Okay and then carefully wiggle it left and right. Just like that. Okay, now make sure you don't pull it out hard. Once it becomes loose, just carefully take it out like that. Okay. All right. So once you've got it out, make sure the clock spring stays centered. It's very, very important to have that centered, okay, as it was. All right, what we'll do now is uh, we'll take this over to the bench. We'll put the other, the replacement PVS steering wheel next to it. We'll transfer over the controls and the back cover and whatever else needs to go on the other one. And uh, then we'll come back and bolt it back in. Okay, so once you've transferred everything over onto the new steering wheel, just make sure the clock spring center again. Feed the clock spring airbag cable through, making sure the steering wheel goes on centered. And grab the nut from before that we removed with a 17 mil socket. And Feed it on. Okay. All right. Make sure that's done nice and tight. Plug in the steering controls, and you're left with the airbag and horn cable. Grab the airbag, plug it back in. So pretty much what we're doing is just doing the same thing that we did when we removed everything, but we're doing it back in reverse now. So. That's all done, make sure everything's clear. And then, push the air back in those three points, and you're done, all right? Reconnect the battery, and then we'll test. All right, so we've connected the battery back up now. Turn on the ignition. Okay, we start the car as well. All right, make sure that everything's connected, no fault, holes, uh, no fault codes on the dashboard. Okay, and what we'll do once the head unit boots up, we'll then check the steering what controls. What do you think of the Hawthorne situation all day yesterday? They're all connected and working, okay? So we've got that. Just test a few of the buttons, make sure they all work. And that's it. Money Easy as that. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.